The airline industry is buzzing with transformation. With strategic alliances and innovative business models at the forefront, the sector is in a new era of opportunities. The future of air travel is here and it's taking off. Welcome to The Exchange from our studio in Doha. Coming up on this episode, we speak with Tony Douglas, CEO of Riyadh Air, who reveals their exciting plans ahead of the Saudi Arabian Airlines inaugural flight. And we hear from the CEO of Airlink, Roger Foster, about partnerships to enhance connectivity in Africa. A recent report from the International Civil Aviation Organization reveals that aviation is a powerhouse for global growth. Valued at an estimated $2.7 trillion, the aviation industry plays a crucial role in shaping economic development. It's projected that by 2035, there will be at least 200,000 planes taking off and landing worldwide every day. That's twice as much air travel as there is now. Growing demand means airports must manage more passengers and cargo sustainably. According to the International Air Transport Association, by 2050, sustainable aviation fuel could help reduce emissions by up to 65% for the industry to achieve net zero. But change is already happening. Take the Airbus A350XWB, for example. It's been dubbed the pinnacle of next-generation aircrafts with its focus on long-haul efficiency. Meanwhile, despite facing a number of challenges, Boeing 787 Dreamliner, which has been designed to reduce environmental impact, is still a very popular aircraft. Well, the market is about to get more competitive because a new international airlines will soon be taking to the skies. Saudi Arabia's second national carrier, Riyadh Air, is counting down to welcome their first passengers on board in 2025. I spoke with Tony Douglas, CEO of Riyadh Air, and asked him how the airline plans to deliver its promise to transform the future of travel. We're very confident that what we'll bring to the marketplace is something that gives a far more personalised offer order experience to the travelling public and back to a digital-led business that enables travel. AI is all around us these days, as we know, in some cases more obvious than others. You could use um, voice to say, I can leave work on Thursday, I need to be back by Sunday, I have X amount uh, of Saudi reals or dollars or whatever currency uh, to spend, just like Apple iPay, uh, you show your face, you double click, and the transaction receipt is linked to your face, i.e. your biometric. Uh, that then becomes your ticket, your passport, your loyalty program. And all of these things have actually been around for some time now, so this is not being right out there. But it's having the ability to be able to connect some of the dots. Exciting times for Riyadh Air. Tony Douglas there sharing his vision for the new airline. So how do investments influence the future of the industry? Our reporter Tuso Kumalo in Johannesburg explored a recent deal between two airlines and its potential impact on air travel in the region. Hi Leila. I'm at the O'Aratambo International Airport in Johannesburg, South Africa. Today we are exploring how a new strategic partnership between Qatar Airways and Airlink, a prominent South African airline, will boost connectivity in the region. This deal aims to enhance regional accessibility and strengthen economic ties between Qatar and African nations. Uh, this is a, an award-winning airline. I believe they've been the best airline in the world for eight years in a row. I think anybody who's ventured through the Doha airport would recognize the scale and the magnitude and the excellence associated with the brand Qatar Airways. We are thrilled to have them on board as a 25% stakeholder in Airlink. This fresh equity will enable the airline to expand rapidly and unlock new opportunities to increase competitiveness. With a fleet of over 60 modern aircraft, Airlink operates a network of more than 50 destinations across 15 African countries. What we will be doing is working on points of their network and including them in points to our network. And 
building the relationship on the basis of a symbiosis where they go into those destinations, but we also attend those destinations and bring those destinations into communication with our hubs, Johannesburg, Cape Town, specifically also including Durban, and then thereby link in to the Qatar Airways network, especially within our sub-region. As Airlink continues to grow, this investment positions the airline to play a vital role in enhancing South Africa's economy through improved connectivity, logistics and job creation. Aviation is then clearly set for remarkable advancements, but could there be some turbulence on the horizon? I put this question to Omar Hashmi, founder and managing director of Volavion Consulting. Globally, we definitely saw a, um, a rise in airfares around the world. But I think what's happening now is that people have done their post-pandemic travel, they've done the revenge travel, and they're looking at maybe slowing down potentially. I think also with, you know, aircraft capability, Boeing, you know, hot topic at the moment, lots of issues with its reputation, but also new aircraft being talked about. So the 797 coming back into sort of uh, discussion again, and that'll be quite interesting because it will enable a kind of a mid level, a mid size capacity area to be given to the markets. Now it's time for our regular feature, Business in 60 Seconds. Start the clock. Adidas gears up to unveil its Q3 2024 earnings report. The global sportswear giant is finalizing a sponsorship agreement with carmaker Audi, which would establish Adidas as the official apparel partner for the German automaker's upcoming entry into Formula One in 2026. This deal would mark a significant expansion of Adidas's footprint in the motorsport arena. Germany's flagship airline Lufthansa is set to announce its Q3 2024 earnings release along with the launch of its new advertising campaign featuring NBA legend Dirk Nowitzki. The campaign highlights Lufthansa's Allegri's business class through a film featuring the former Dallas Mavericks star. And Caterpillar will be releasing its Q3 2024 financial results and introducing a new initiative called Pathways to Sustainability. This four-year program is designed to support clients in their energy transition efforts and offers tailored training and guidance focused on sustainability goals. With travel demand continuing to soar, the future of aviation is on course to fly high. Technological advancements and industry trends are also driving changes in airplane operations, promising dynamic and impactful growth for generations to come. Well, that's all the time we have for now on this edition of the show. Thanks for watching. Please do check out Euronews.com for all your latest business news and join us again next time on The Exchange.